Hi, Assalamualaikum. Alright, uh, today will be another day of pitching tent for my students. Okay, and today is special because I'm going to bring you near to them and we want to hear what is going on and so that we can pick up uh, and see the insights of uh, a tent pitching activity. Alright, so we got one team over here pitching a tent. Uh, let's look at the boys, what they're doing. We got one boy putting down the pole standing by, being ready to do his job and the rest are preparing the tent good job, not bad we can see that uh, there's two more boys over there who are preparing the, the, other, the other temple ok, hi ok how's it going guys, boys? boleh eh, can do it? ok, alright ok, this is another team super interesting uh, because this team you can see that they are more of like sitting down okay uh, unlike the other team so it's a different team dynamics that you can see over here uh, yeah okay but generally you can see that they are all waiting to prepare the tent everybody uh, automatically uh, doing a role okay it's just two different ways of doing the same thing Alright, so this is a girls team. Uh, how is it going girls? All okay? Alright. How are you feeling? Angry? Why angry? Stress. Oh, angry. Okay, they are angry because they are stressed. Okay. Uh, I would think that's a typical uh, feeling of anxiety. Okay, it's not being angry towards the teammate. So as you can see that... Uh, Again, in this activity, both boys and girls, they are working together, um, yeah, very well. A simple activity for them. So, similar to just now, the boys team. Uh, in this team, you can see the girls are more sitting down. And on the other side, uh, yep, another group of students who were all uh, strategically waiting to do their role. And now that they pull their tents up, they are on their way to fix their tent. So let's look out for uh, leadership potentials, okay? Alright. Yeah, so let's look at this team. You can see that uh, some boys are teaching their friend. That's a good example of peer coaching. Uh, which also means another a level of uh, leadership. Okay, so you saw the videos just now, the clips of the students pitching on the tent. Uh, there was an inside view about what goes on during the, the, the tent pitching activity. You could see that in the tent pitching activity, there are some things going on. Uh, a few things which, which you can uh, pick up and share with the students. Uh, for example, number one is uh, about uh, teamwork. Uh, how a simple job has a simple task for a team requires uh, different team members to do their, their, their roles. Okay, uh, so you, uh, that's a very good uh, activity to talk, to talk about teamwork. Um, you can also use activity to see how the team is, uh, is, is working, the, the team dynamics. Okay, so you saw in, a, in, in an earlier clip whereby uh, one team was very mobile, whereas the other team was more of like sitting down. Um, doesn't mean that they are passive, but they are just having a different, a different strategy. Okay, yeah, so you can talk about how different teams are operate. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the same activity you can uh, use it to pinpoint or highlight uh, leadership skills. Okay, uh, so you can highlight or maybe uh, uh, sorry, I mean you saw some of the boys were giving instruction to their friends. Okay, although it seems minute, but these little and small actions uh, are the gateways for for students or children to start. Um, I would say to practice leadership skills. Okay. Uh, being able to, to give command, being able to receive feedback uh, and many more. Okay, so similar activity um, which I really urge you to, to do it in your, in your activities. Uh, if you have watched my earlier video, I actually shared that um, do look into how you can actually plan your activities effectively. If need be, you may need to scaffold your, 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 your program, uh, the activity per se. Uh, meaning you must ensure that the activity matches the profile of the students. Okay. 
uh, yeah, if it doesn't match, then it doesn't mean that the activity is a totally no go. But maybe it requires uh, some tweaking. Okay, so I leave it to you to experiment. Uh, uh, to experiment around what's the best of doing activities with your students. Okay, uh, we're all in the, in the journey of uh, learning, uh, not only for the students but also for the instructors. Okay, so have fun and stay safe out there. Bye bye.